In today's video, we'll talk about the choices we've made for sixth grade and what we like about each. I'm so happy with the combination of subjects and materials we picked for this year because we are already at the end of our first semester and everything is going so smoothly. Hi, I'm Nora from monkeymom.com, a website dedicated to helping homeschoolers with reviews, freebies, and tips. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and turning the notifications on so you know when I post new content. This video is part of a full blog post that you can find linked in the description below. So if you are looking for more information, make sure to check out the description box. I spent a little more time planning this year and I got Mark a student planner designed by me which helps us both stay on track. This has been a game changer for us and I am proud to say this is the first year we're on track with everything since we got started 7 years ago. I choose my homeschool curriculum materials carefully ensuring they are academically rigorous while also being flexible. It's not always an easy feat but I'm confident in the publishers I've chosen as they are some of the best in their business. I prefer an eclectic curriculum aimed at homeschoolers that I can piece together as it allows me to customize my son's education to better fit his needs. I will have separate full review videos for each of these so make sure you turn the notifications on to see them as soon as I post them. So let's dive in our sixth grade curriculum choices. We liked Mr. D Maths Pre-Algebra course so much that we continued with Mr. D Maths Algebra 1 course this year for several reasons. It's self-paced meaning Mark can move through it as he pleases and he has the flexibility to spend more time on concepts that are more complex. It has online help sessions and their teachers are always an email away from helping kids out. Math was becoming tedious between the two of us but switching to an external math source made our days easier. Matt has never been so much fun in our home before. Mr. D has a way of getting through to children and Mark just loves this teacher and his way of explaining stuff. I think language arts is the most challenging subject to balance because it has multiple parts that are difficult to separate. I feel that choosing an all-in-one curriculum will not go deep enough to cement the information because they tend to zoom through concepts. A more effective approach would be to focus on one concept at a time in order to ensure that your child grasps the material before moving on. So let's see what are the components of a language arts curriculum. When we say language arts, we're in fact referring to multiple subunits of language studies, reading and literature for older kids, spelling and composition writing for older kids, grammar and vocabulary. Mark already has a good spelling command so we are left with writing, literature, grammar and vocabulary. We are really enjoying IEW for writing and we picked up where we left off with the Structure and Style for Students program from last year. I feel that this program is tailored perfectly for Mark's needs. He is more literal and needs logical approaches for every subject and IEW is doing just that with its Structure and Style for Students program. This is our second year using IEW w for writing and we are so in love that we are doing a comprehensive review soon. There's nothing we would change about this program. The self-paced video lessons are great and Mr. Andrew Pudowa is so fun to listen to. I love that he teaches kids to think, plan and style their writing in a logical step-by-step -step manner. I can already see the difference it's making in my students writing. Finally, Mark is able to write a full composition that makes sense independently by using the structure and style for students techniques. I have been struggling to choose a literature curriculum for my homeschooler this year. I was originally leaning towards the public school curriculum but I wasn't sure if it would be the right fit. I did some research and discovered Common Sense Press and their learning language arts through literature program. I knew Common Sense Press from the review I did on their wordsmith apprentice and I was immediately drawn to this literature package. I love the format of the TAN book because we work on both fragments of text and full 
full books. We read and analyze four full books per year, which combine literature, writing, grammar, and spelling with a focus on literature and literary analysis. The TAN book is designed for homeschoolers, which means it is open and go, flexible, and very easy to implement at home. Please note that while the TAN book has no religious references, some of the reading books are written in a religious context. The reason I chose vocabulary from classical roots is that it covers advanced words and is based on Latin and Greek roots. This helps Mark to deduct the meaning of new vocabulary words by knowing the roots. I love that this series is to the point not taking more than 20 minutes to finish, which makes it very easy to pair up with writing or literature. What an awesome gem this is! With growing with grammar, we just open the books and everything is presented in a clear, easy way, with no extras and no flourishing. The great thing about this curriculum is that it's condensed, easy to work from independently, and it helps kids stay consistent. Mark only has to fill out two pages per day, so there is little busy work for him to do. This curriculum also covers advanced grammar concepts and more. I love the fact that the textbook is in fact a reference booklet that you can quickly consult if you need to. I was unsure of what science curriculum to choose for this year. Mark is ready to go beyond middle school science, but he needs to catch up in math first. Last year, I chose a fifth grade public school science curriculum, but it bored him to tears. So this year, I chose Astronomy 2 from Pandia Press. It's an advanced science curriculum, and we've already covered more than half of it. I feel that we'll need to supplement it with another curriculum for the second semester though. I picked Astronomy 2 because it's easy to follow at home. This this makes it a great choice for families who want to learn together hands-on through projects and fun experiments. Mark is interested in astronomy and he's been learning a lot of astronomy from watching his favorite YouTube channel. Pandia Press is an awesome publisher when it comes to secular science and hands-on science curricula. Social studies is our greatest change this year. We've moved from a traditional history curriculum to a literature-based secular history curriculum and it's the best switch we could have done. Mark loves reading and my goal is to expose him to good literature. We've been browsing the Bookshark list for years but I didn't have the courage to take the leap because it all looked overwhelming. This year was finally the year we took that leap of faith and it's been mind-blowing. Not only do we find it easy to navigate, we actually enjoy it a lot. The literature-based approach has opened up so many interesting discussions and added a whole new level of depth to our homeschooling. And to top it all, we managed to cover Bookshark in 15 to 30 minutes per day. I chose Bookshark for our 6th grade social studies because it's literature-based and teaches history in context. It also includes geography and cultural studies, which exposes Mark to a broad range of cultures. Another reason I chose this curriculum is because it covers the less studied Eastern Hemisphere. This curriculum is very way more than just history. It's good literature, culture, geography, and history combined in an impressive journey throughout the East. I wanted to choose Latin this year after seeing how well Latin roots worked for vocabulary. I'm in no way pushing Latin on Mark or expecting him to get to a certain level, but I thought that Latin would be a great addition since science is heavily relying on Latin words. If he knows the meaning of the main roots, he will be able to memorize and decode speciality terms easier. That's why I chose Minimus, a Latin program that's easy and engaging for him. Minimus is a little mouse who lives in a old Roman town in the United Kingdom. This town was real and the book has historical proof in form of maps or photos peppered throughout. This is a light and fun way to get kids familiar with Latin and to make them see it was an actual language that was commonly used long ago in history. When it comes to learning German, Mark has had trouble finding the motivation to stick with it. In the past, I've tried hiring tutors, but that didn't work out too well since he quickly lost interest. So this year, I decided to just go ahead and buy a lifetime membership to Rosetta Stone. This way, he can do the lessons at his own pace without any pressure. At first, I wasn't expecting much, but a few months later, he surprised me by reading small texts in German. So I'm happy I saved a lot of money on German tutors because Rosetta Stone is perfect for kids that are just starting out in a language. My plan is to have him finish all the German levels in Rosetta Stone
Stone before looking for another German tutor that will then take him to the next level. Udemy is a great affordable platform for learning new skills and taking classes on almost any subject. I found a promising Arduino step-by-step -step class for Mark this year, which is perfect for beginners. I just went ahead and bought the required pieces so he can follow along with the instructor and he is going to the class at his own pace. So far, he's really enjoying it. If you need help with choosing a curriculum, I am happy to schedule a free Zoom meeting with you and help you out. Check out my blog for more information. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching till the end. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel. Until next time, stay curious.